Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the one of the uh, important uh, feature has been added in JDK 1.5 and that is for each loop. So here, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand where we should use for each loop and uh, and what's the benefit to use a for each loop in uh, Java. So here you can see I have created a list which con contains the uh, string and here I have added a four person in this list. Now I have two choice to when suppose if I want to traverse uh, each elements of this list then we have a cho two choice. Either we can use a uh, iterator which was uh, available from JDK 1.5 before JDK 1.5 and people were using but from JDK 1.5 onwards uh, for each came into the existence right so first of all we'll see how we can iterate using iterator so here you have a list you can call a method is called iterator and this will return you the iterator of a string and here you may use any loop here I'm gonna use a, a file, while loop so here you don't need to type cast because we are using generics and here you can say name and this element we can easily print over here right so that's the way visually we were doing before the jdk 1.5 and if i run it then easily uh, you can traverse every elements of this collection so even though if you collection we have a set or list easily you can iterate right uh, iterator is basically used to iterate a collection of elements and collection you may have a list or set right J so this was happening till jdk 1.4 but from jdk 1.5 onwards uh, you have uh, one more choice to uh, traverse the elements of collection that is called for each loop but uh, when you you want to remove some certain elements from the uh, loop uh, uh, certain elements from the list then you have to use iterator because if you go to the iterator then iterator gives you opportunity to traverse every elements by using the has next and next method but apart from that you have a one more method is called remove if you want to remove elements from the iterator then you will have to use remove but if you use for each loop then you don't have option uh, to element uh, remove an elements from while iterating the uh, collection uh, using for each loop that's the one of the uh, drawback apart from that uh, so as i have shown you list is the one of the interface to iterate a collection another interface you have a list iterator which is basically sub interface of iterator basically that extends iterator so all method which is available in the iterator can be accessed by the list iterator as well and using list using iterator you can only traverse in the forward direction but if you use list iterator then you can uh, traverse you can traverse the collection in forward as well as backward direction so that's what you have a next has next method and uh, previous and has previous method uh, but list iterator also provides you to remove an elements update an elements and add an elements that's what we have a method is called remove set and up uh, add methods right so these are the features you will not get if you traverse your elements using for each loop so before learning for each loop you should know what is the drawback and uh, what's the benefit now what's the benefit when you write a iterator then you write a lot of lines of code right but uh, using for each loop it's very easy to traverse the collection only you will have to write the uh, for e and press control a space and you get something like this right so auto support is available and here you can print the name easily so just i'm going to separate these two output so here basically you will have to write the for and uh, uh, what data type is hold by your collection that data type and here this variable name you can give anything and you need to put the call and after that you need to give the your collection name that is the name list i have given and after that this will iterate for each will iterate the every elements in this collection available collection and basically this hides the iterator behind the scene basically for each loop 
uses a least one uh, iterator only that that is hidden behind the scene and that's the reason we cannot use remove method right so if you want to remove elements from the uh, collection uh, collection which you are iterating then you will have to use either iterator or least iterator right and let me run this program now easily you can traverse the every elements of the collection and here we got the elements now second thing is that if you want to uh, traverse uh, every elements of array then this is also possible using using for each loop but this is not possible using a uh, iterator because iterator is available in the collection interface and uh, your array uh, does not uh, uh, belongs to that uh, family right so here also you can use for each loop so even array also you can iterate using for each loop right so here again uh, your array is holding the string data type so a string you will have to write for after for each you will have to write a string then this variable you can give anything after colon you need to write the name of the array and in this way you are iterating every elements of the your uh, array right now if i iterate then easily you can iterate it now we got the every elements from the array as well so that's all i hope you enjoyed learning this video i hope you understood how to iterate uh, collection as well as array using the for each loop which was the one of the good feature added in jdk 1.8 so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys in next video tutorial i'll come up with the, some new features in jdk 1.8 one thing i'd like to tell you uh, you might be thinking why i'm talking about the jdk 1.5 feature everybody is talking about the feature which has been added in jdk 1.8 and even in J java 9 these days as well so why we are talking about the jdk 1.5 reason is that i saw a lot of people a lot of java developer they don't know what are the feature has been added in java 5 6 7 and 8 something like that but uh, as a java developer we must know what are the feature have been added in the different jdk version and that's the reason uh, I, I, I would like to discuss these things with you and you should be very much aware about these things what are the feature have been added in the which, G, which version of JDK right guys so guys big thank you for watching this video and uh, this code is pretty straightforward still I am going to check in this code on the github and if you want to download this code easily you can download and that link you can get in the video description part itself so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial